Hello and welcome to Karma Chameleon Makeup for Mental Health. For those of you who don't know what this is, it's a series that premieres every Saturday, 3pm UK time. And it's kind of like a virtual cafe, You've got the live chat there, I'm in there, there's loads of wonderful people um, that join every Saturday. It's just such a wonderful place to be. So if you are in need of some support, you're feeling lonely, or you just want to chat makeup, then 3 p.m. Saturday UK time, this is the place to be. So let's get started. The primer I'm going in with is the Elf Paula's Putty Primer. I love this, and as you can see, <laughs> yeah. So how how has your week been? I put way too much on here, haven't I? <laughs> has this week been good for you? Again, I'm kind of trying to remember what I've done. I think my days just kind of, or my weeks even, just kind of blur. I think where I don't really do much at all, it's, uh, hmm. I have had some very exciting palettes arrive. Uh, one of those being the Lois Cosmetics Meet Me in the Underworld palette. I am so excited to play with that. I'm just so relieved that I got my hands on it this time around. I know it will be restocking again, so if you have missed out, then don't worry because it will be back. Right. Hop that away. The foundation I'm going in with is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Luminous Foundation. I have it in the shade 220N. I absolutely love this foundation. So yeah, what else have I been up to this week? I, uh, I actually know. <laughs> oh my God, this is so bad. Um, oh, I did manage to get hold of Guardians of the Galaxy. I think they arrived actually last week whilst I was filming. Guardians of the Galaxy, the first one and the second one on DVD. So that's very exciting for me. And my daughter has got the host on DVD. So we have that to uh, that to try out also. Say try out, I've already seen it. We've got that to watch. I'm pretty sure we're watching that tonight. So I have uh, my stepson is here for the weekend, which is so nice to see him. I can't believe they've both left school now. I don't know where that time's gone. But yes, yeah, so there's four of us this weekend, which is really nice. I really love this foundation. It's so nice. So yeah, I think we're watching the host tonight. My dad came over today, which I'm filming this a bit later than usual, so I may not be quite as with it. Um, but yeah, but it was really nice to see him. Really nice. I did manage to make it round the corner to the uh, the restaurant. Like literally, it's just round the corner. My feet looked like balloons. Um, it was agony, but, but I did it. I managed to walk around the corner, which <laughs> doesn't sound like much, but for me at the moment, that is a huge, huge feat. So for concealer of the face, I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer in the shade Almond. Um, I love it. Crikey. So yeah, I've had a few things turning up recently. I think what else? I've got the Flower Punk from Kaleidos on the way. Um, there's not actually that much to cover. Pretty good. So yeah, that's on the way. And what else is on the way? I'm going to kick myself for forgetting. My brain, this is how wonderful my brain is 
to me. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure you're not meant to uh, stick foundation in your hair. But, oh well. Apparently that's the look we are going with. So, whatever. <laughs> I do really want to brighten up my under eyes, so I'm going in with the Madage Beauty. It is the Skin Perfect Photo Ready Concealer. I have it in the shade Medium Light Porcelain. And just want to just brighten up the under eyes. It felt so nice just to leave the house on foot, even if it was just around the corner. But just to leave the, the house on foot was uh, something I haven't done in a long time. And yeah, so we, we actually went to um, one of the local eateries and... I had barbecue chicken um, with chips. It was so nice. Um, I know it's not going to do my my diet any good, but it was just one day, and it was because my dad was over. So yeah, I haven't seen my dad in around a year. So it was so good to see him. That will do. That will do. Okay, so I'm not putting on any cream blush, anything like that. I'm feeling really lazy today because it's been a long day for me already. So I'm going in with the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Loose Powder in the shade Butter. Oh my word. I'm really not doing so great. Let's grab a fluffy brush. Oh, crikey, that picked up way too much, but never mind. As you can see. I hate that I'm saying this because it's an expensive powder, but this is my favourite powder at the moment. It's just so finely milled, it doesn't leave my skin looking dry and old. And it smells amazing. So yeah, if you don't like smelly, smelly products, it sounds awful. It smells like, I don't know, some kind of luxurious product. Which I suppose it is really, isn't it? Because it's... It's not one of the cheap ones. Um, yeah, it smells amazing. I love it. But yes, yeah, so I collabed with Anki this week. We did the uh, the Build Your Own palette. Uh, Anki's just really got me into single shadows. And it's... I've been loving it. I've just been loving building my collection i don't know why my words are, are not coming out today but yes i've been loving building my collection of singles and i do actually have quite a nice collection now nothing in comparison to anki's but i'm pretty happy with that for my brows i'm going in with the catrice slimmatic ultra precise brow pencil i have it in the shade cool brow I love this. I'm still doing my weird little combing my <laughs> next to no brow hairs up. I'm sure it does make some difference because there are some brows, brow hairs there, just not many. Oh, this is why I film in the mornings because come late afternoon, I am just. Uh, I don't even know what to say. I'm just, yeah, not as coherent. Coherent. I'm not with it very much at all. 
but it's okay because these things happen <laughs> oh dear so yes i apologize in advance for my um <laughs> for my not being with it <laughs> all right okay steph come on you can do this yeah i'm still considering getting my eyebrows kind of tattooed on or microbladed on because uh this is frustrating as nice as it is that you can kind of create your own whatever shape you want um it's also frustrating because I would really, really like to wake up in the morning and have brows already there. I'm pretty sure they are not going to match. I'll do the best I can to get them to. I don't know whether I'm putting that in front of the mirror or not. Yeah, for all of you with bushy eyebrows, I envy you so much. I would give anything to have not over plucked my eyebrows when I was younger. And I'm always saying to my daughter, just don't do it because uh, you'll end up like me having to draw them on every single day. And yeah, it's not, I say not fun, it can be, but there's other steps of makeup I'd rather be focusing on than my brows. Not the most. Uh, not the most exciting step. <laughs> you do? Are you even? Kind of? That's going to have to do because uh, yeah. That's gonna have to do because uh, I haven't got the energy to to argue with my eyebrows anymore. So for eye primer, I'm using the Be Perfect Perfect Prime Eyeshadow Priming Base. Very, very unnecessarily long name. Um, oh well, I didn't even get a brush out to do this with. Wow, I'm so organized.
So yes, yeah, so I have grabbed a palette out of my box of shame. It's an older palette. So it's new to me, but yeah, it's one of the older ones because uh, I really, really need to uh, to start getting through this box because if you if you watched my box of shame video, if you haven't and you want to, I will link it up there in the cards. It was also a collab with my beautiful friend and sister Erica. Um, so yes. If you've seen that already, then you will know just how many palettes I have in my box of shame. And I have more palettes on the way. So I really need to, uh, to get that box. Well, maybe even just to make it so there's only one box and not two. That in itself would be um, helpful. I'm making this way harder work than it needs to be. So yeah, welcome to my world in the PM. Um, yeah. <sighs> right. I'm not going to need that now because the palette that I'm going in with today is the escape pod from Kaleidos. I am so excited. Let's just take the plastic sheet out. This is what I'm playing with. How beautiful is that? I'm so excited. Right, let's get some brushes. Okay, so the first, ouch. Okay, so the first shade I'm going in with is Soiree, this lighter purple. Oh, or am I? Yeah, yeah, I am. I'm going in with that one. Oh no, I'm wrecking the little writing bit. That's the one thing I hate. That's the only thing when it comes to eyeshadows with... Um, like imprints in them is that you have to wreck them to use the palette <laughs> okay that's not working I'm gonna have to have a separate mirror that's better now I am so excited to have this palette and I think it's going to be amazing to use it alongside the Club Nebula. Um, I am definitely going to be doing that at some point. I say at some point because uh, I've got a, sh a load of things to film. Just loads. And I just want to make it a nice, easy... I wish my bottle wouldn't do that. I don't even know why they do that. It's a water. It's a bottle of water. It's not like it's got like fizzy in it or anything. Yeah, just doing a nice, pretty simple look today. I'm dragging this out because I am using this as kind of the transition shade. I am really enjoying this colour. I'm holding that so you can't see. This colour is beautiful. Try and get a little more kind of up here. Look at that. Yeah, 
Yeah, I am super happy that I have this and even more happy that I now have the flower punk coming and the electro turquoise coming. Like super excited. I do actually also have another palette coming. I'm not going to say what it is yet though. I'm going to wait until I have her in my in my hands. This is such a pretty colour. And for once on Karma Chameleon, I am not doing a green look. I have, however, done a green look already today to go out. So yeah, I've already done one today. Um, but yes, for that I used the Colourpop, the Child Palette, Mandalorian one. That was... Uh, that was my go-to to make me feel good. I think with this I just I've been dying to play with it since I got it, so here it is. And yeah, this colour is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I always have this part here of my eye that just resists eyeshadow. I have no idea why either. It's only on the one eye. But, oh well. Have I, have I built it up enough? I think I've built that up enough now. So I am going to make a, a bracket. Um, I am going to go in with Exoplanet. I haven't got my glasses on, so. Squeak him. Now this looks nice. Ooh. So yeah, if you are a Kaleidos lover, what palettes do you have? I have the Club Nebula, the Escape Pod, the Astro Pink, and then I will have the Flower Punk and the Electro Turquoise. I've kind of gone on a bit of a mad one with uh, Kaleidos recently. Or another exciting palette I have coming. Um, it's not a new palette. But it's one that I've wanted for ages, and that is the Nomad Tokyo Harajuku. I don't know if that's how you say it, but that's the one I have on its way to me now. That should be with me somewhere in the week, I think. Yes. I am super excited for that. That will more than likely be used in one of these Karma Chameleons um, but we'll see I'm super excited to be getting it though super because Nomad's formula is one of my absolute favourites and 
the uh, the Iceland Fire and Ice palette I think is my absolute favourite palette. Not just from 2020. 2021? When did it come out? Anyways, it's not just my favourite palette of recently. It is just, I believe, my favourite palette. I quite often pick it up to play with. There's just something about the colour story. And yeah, I love it. This colour is absolutely gorgeous. There is uh, a fair bit of kick up, but it's not falling out of my face. It's just kick up in the pan. Um, so I don't mind that. This is so pretty. I can't remember what I was saying now. Nomad. Their formula, the Iceland Fire and Ice palette. Oh crikey. The brain is not engaging with the mouth today. Or the brain's just not engaging at all today, apparently. <laughs> Never mind. Worse things have happened. this is so beautiful this is already making me feel good so essentially i am getting all doled up makeup wise anyway um to sit and watch a film on the sofa with my boyfriend our daughter and my stepson So, yeah. Again with that little bit there. Perfect. For my lower lash line, this is squeaky. <laughs> um, for my lower lash line, I am going to take Mardi Gras. Not one there. I'm just sticking with the kind of <laughs> Oh wow. It's like the palette is talking to me. So yeah, just taking just a bit of that under the eye beautiful I do actually want to first take a bit of exoplanet the deeper of the purples and just kind of kind of match it match it up <laughs> connect the upper and lower lash lines, lids, yeah, that. I think I'm in love with this colour. This colour is beautiful, absolutely beautiful. And then, now going back in with Mardi Gras. That looks so pretty. Hmm.
Yeah, that will do. That will do. Okay, what do I need now? You will do. And you. You'll do. So for the outer part of my lid, I'm going in with Cosmic Cabinet. I'm sure that's what it says. Cosmic Cabaret. I haven't got my glasses on. I still don't know. That may that may still not be right, but so so I'm just going to take some of that on my brush and I'm just using it dry today. I just want to see kind of how it all goes. Oh, this is pretty. Wow. That is beautiful. Look at that. Yeah, this is definitely going to be amazing used in conjunction with the Club Nebula. Definitely. I am so looking forward to uh, to doing that. Use them both together. Because, well, it's because I am. Very beautiful. Right, for the <laughs> for the inner part of my lid, I'm going in with Space Oasis, the one next to it. Wow. I think we need some like WD-40 or something for my palette. And I am popping that on the what's left open. Oh, oh, okay. This is pretty. Ooh. Okay. This is beautiful. Wow. I'm going to have some fallout to clear up, but I don't mind. I just kind of wanted to kind of wanted to check them out without the uh, the glitter primer or spraying Wait, do any of you guys have this palette? I can't believe it's taken me this long to get it. <laughs> oh, never mind, I have it now. And it is a stunning palette. The same as always, just so much more beautiful in the flesh. I found that with um, the new Lois palette. I was so excited for it to arrive. And... Uh, Oh, when I opened it up and saw the actual shades, what they looked like, like right in front of me, <laughs> oh, it was they're amazingly beautiful. I'm so so excited to play with it. I'm thoroughly enjoying this. Like really, really enjoying this. I don't want to stop packing it on. Look at that. And that is not sprayed, no glitter primer. That is just what this shadow does all by itself. 
Right, let's get rid of uh, any fallout. I might have some shiny bits, but eh, whatever. It's okay, we're just dressed up for the sofa. I want to try actually. A little brush. I am going to try, what's it called? Starlight Sonata, that one there. I'm going to try that as my inner corner and brow bone highlight. So let's see. Okay. Yep, I think this is going to work. Yep. Nice. I think if I can use an inner corner and brow bone highlight from the palette I'm using, then I don't know, I just, I prefer that. This is looking good. It's a nice simple look today. I am not mad at it. Sometimes just doing a nice simple look is uh, all you need. And apparently today this is all I need. So beautiful, so beautiful. Oh, I don't know why I hold my breath so much. So I'm just gonna kind of blend it into the lid there. So it's not a Kind of that doesn't stop and then that starts they're connected crikey i made that even more complicated than it needed to be didn't i God. okay so let's pop a bit of that brow bone oh Okay, well, it definitely makes a beautiful inner corner and brow bone highlight. Um, I'm impressed. I know I'm sticking more and more on, but I just want it to really kind of stand out. Beautiful. Okay, hey, so before I go in with the eye makeup, eye makeup, before I go in with the mascara, I am going to use the Catrice Prime and Fine Multi Talent Fixing Spray. Um, it's it prepares the skin, improves makeup wear, and refreshes complexion. That's the bit I'm looking for right now. Mm. Okay, I'm in my mouth now. <laughs> As I've found out a couple of times, trying to talk straight after spraying it, it doesn't taste very nice at all. Okay, so I'm just going to give my lashes a quick curl. These are the best eyelash curlers that I've ever owned and they're only cheap ones from uh, She Glam, which is on uh, Shein website. Yes, they definitely work better than any others I've tried. The mascara is the Madeja Lash Mascara from Madage Beauty. Um, I love this one, as all of you who are not new will know, it's the only mascara I have been using. Oh, 
Well, considering my eyelashes never ever do as they're told with the combination of the eyelash curler and this mascara I actually look like I have lashes without putting falsies on not that I'm ever going to stop wearing my falsies because I love them but sometimes like today I've already been wearing falsies today when I went out so yeah I just don't don't fancy putting any more on so let's go in with so for in my waterline I'm going to go with the Colourpop cream gel liner in the shade Prance I absolutely love these liners from Colourpop they are so creamy and oh they just work so well and they last in your waterline which is amazing and this colour is just beautiful so easy just to get a nice solid waterline solid waterline solid block of colour in the waterline something like that yes I love them and then I'm just going to pop a tiny bit of mascara on the lower lashes I don't want them to like look big or anything I just want it to be kind of want them to show as actually being there <laughs> oh my word my brain is just giving up on me that'll do that will do i haven't even popped a nose stud in either okay let's just pop a nose stud in is, uh, I'm feeling pretty bare without it. There we go. Right. Okay, so for bronzer, I'm going in with the Nabla Skin Bronzing in the shade June. I love this so much. Let's move this so I can see there. This is just such a wonderful, buildable formula. And I need to work out what the next shade up is because I'm going to need that for the summer. The moment I've got any kind of tan, this isn't going to show. I'm filming on it, yeah. Yeah, this won't show with even the slightest bit of tan. So, I'm definitely going to have to invest in another one of these at some point. That they do sell these on Beauty Bay, which is helpful. Yeah, where have I not? Where I haven't contoured, I'm just mopping a little bit round here just to make it look like I only have one chin right, I think we are bronzed up enough and the blush I'm going to go in with is from Pelt and Shell it is Pink Me Up and this is the shade so oh, look at that such a beautiful pink blush
You can probably hear my daughter laughing downstairs. Hmm. Beautiful. And then for highlight, I'm going in with Pelt and Shouts Highlighter Sunny Days. This beautiful yellow highlighter. Beautiful. I used to use my Ofra Rodeo Drive all the time and I don't use it anywhere near as much now. Um, if anything, I prefer the Pelt and Shell highlighters and the Kaleidos highlighters. Never thought I would hear myself say that, but there you go. Put your hair floating around there somewhere. This is just one of the most beautiful highlighters ever. Beautiful. Just quickly go over that with the blusher brush. So just need to choose a lipstick quickly, one second. Okay, so I know I said lipstick, but I'm actually going to use the I Heart Revolution Salted Caramel Lip Gloss. I love this. And uh, I love that it has this much color to it. There's no stickiness to it at all. This is my perfect nude lip gloss. So yes, this is the face finished. Quite an easy simple look today but i really like it let me know what you think either in the live chat or in the comment section below depending on whether you are with us in the live chat or watching at a later date but yeah if you are in the live chat thank you so so much for just being here and chatting with us and I just I love it I love it when everybody chats amongst themselves it's just a really really nice uh, just a really nice conversation so if you are here chatting with us in the live chat thank you so much for being here I hope you've enjoyed this video if you have please give it a like thumbs up it really helps me out and if you're watching at a later time or a later date Thank you so much for watching. Again, I hope you've enjoyed this video. And yeah, if you are new around here, then I hope you'll consider sticking around. Uh, Karma Chameleon is every Saturday, like I've already said, 3 p.m. UK time. Um, but I also do like new releases and sneak peeks. I do full face of certain brands or full face of new new first impressions um i'm also reviewing a lot of eyeshadow palettes and as you can see by today i am a huge lover of very colorful makeup the more colorful the better and i am a huge supporter of indie brands 
So if that sounds like something that you could uh, you could vibe with, then please do hit that subscribe button and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss the next time I upload. Again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all having a great day, great evening, wherever you are and whatever you're doing. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.